we're going to continue with our lesson of Jesus before Pilate. Back when Jesus was having his Lord's Supper, that Passover meal with the disciples, one more thing had happened. Jesus told his disciples, you are going to betray me. We talked about that. And Jesus had said to Peter, before the rooster crows two times, you are going to deny me three times. You are going to say three times you don't know me. And Peter said, Lord, I would never do that. I'll never leave you. Well, when the enemies took Jesus out of the Garden of Gethsemane, the disciples ran. Well, that night, the soldiers took Jesus to the high priest. He was one of the leaders of the church. And he had a fancy place where he was working, or it was kind of like his home, I suppose, or his office. And Peter was out in the courtyard. He was out in the yard, and there were a lot of people there because this was a big deal, and they all wanted to know what was going on. And it must have been a little bit cool because they started a fire to try to stay a little bit warm. Well, while they were there, somebody looked at Peter, a servant girl, and said, Hey, aren't you one of his disciples? And Peter said, no, 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 no. I don't know that man. And he kind of walked away. And a little while later, the girl said, you are one of his disciples. I know you're with him. And Peter said, oh, no, not me. And the rooster had crowed already one time, and Peter had heard it. And then the disciple was standing there again. Peter was standing there again. And somebody said, I know you were with Jesus. I have seen you with him. And you talk like a Galilean. That would be kind of an accent that makes his voice sound like he is from a certain part of the country, the same part of the country that Jesus was from. And Peter got angry and he said, I swear I do not know that man. He shouldn't have said that. He shouldn't have sworn like that. But he said, I swear I do not know that man. And just like that, the rooster crowed again, and Jesus happened to be being led from one part of this building to another, and just then he turned and he looked right at Peter. And Peter saw Jesus' eyes, and he knew the hurt that Jesus was feeling because Peter had denied him. Peter was so upset by what he had done, he felt so much guilt he ran out of the courtyard and he wept. His heart was breaking because he knew he had denied his Savior. Well, after Jesus was done at the high priest, the accusers, the bad guys, kept saying, he deserves to die. He says he is God. And the high priest agreed he should die. But the high priest wasn't in charge. And he couldn't punish anybody with death. He could maybe send people to jail, but he couldn't have them killed. So they had to send him to the guy in charge. His name was Pilate. Pontius Pilate is what we call him. When we think of Pilate, we think of a guy who flies an airplane. That's a pilot. Well, not in this story. In this story, Pilate, and it's spelled differently, is a man who's in charge of the country. So, here we have... Jesus standing here before this guy in this fancy chair. This is Pilate in our lesson. Well, it was early in the morning. It had passed midnight. So it was after midnight, so maybe 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. We don't know when, 4 o'clock, when people should be sound asleep in bed. Well, they got the high priest out of bed because this was a big deal, and they wanted Jesus dead. So the enemies took him to Pilate, and Pilate said, what do you want me to do? What did this guy do? And they paid people to tell all sorts of lies about Jesus. They didn't care what they said. They wanted him dead. So they made up all sorts of lies about Jesus. And Pilate said, you know, this really isn't any big deal. I don't think he's done anything, certainly not enough to die. And Pilate asked Jesus, are you really a king? And Jesus said, I am a king, but I have not come 
to have an earthly kingdom. I came to tell people the word of God. Oh, the enemies were so angry to hear this. They did not want to hear that. They just wanted Jesus dead. And he said, well, I can put this man in jail, but I can't kill him. He didn't do anything wrong. They wanted him dead, and Pilate thought he had a way out. He says, you know, I can let one guy go out of prison. I could let Jesus go, or I could let Barabbas go. Oh, Barabbas was evil. He had killed people. He was very bad, very dangerous. And Pilate thought, there's no way they're going to want to let him out of prison because he's bad. They'll say, let Jesus go. That's not what the people said. The people said, let Barabbas go. And so that's what Pilate did. But the enemy shouted, we want Jesus on a cross. We want him dead. Pilate didn't know what to do. So he told his soldiers, beat him up. Beat him up. They put a crown of thorns on his head. They pressed those thorns into his scalp. They tied his hands. They beat him with a whip that had pieces of metal and glass attached to it. It ripped his back to shreds when they hit him with that whip. And then Jesus took him back to the people, or Pilate took Jesus back to the people and said, look at him, look at him. And the people didn't feel sorry for Jesus. They said, crucify him, put him on a cross and kill him. They just wanted him dead. Pilate said, I can't find out anything he's done wrong. And the people said, he says he is God. And that made Pilate really afraid. And he said, I, I don't want to kill this man. And they said, if you don't, we're going to get you in trouble. Well, Pilate, you know, he had it pretty good. He did not want to lose his job. So he finally said, fine, you take him away and crucify him. But he did this. He had a bowl of water brought out and he washed his hands and he said, I'm showing you, I am washing this man's blood off of my hands. If you want him dead, it's going to be your fault, not mine. Pilate didn't want anything to do with killing Jesus because now he was a little afraid. If Jesus was saying he was God, Pilate was a little bit afraid of that. And he should be, shouldn't he? So they took Jesus and they were going to crucify him. So let's look back once more. So the enemies brought Jesus to Pilate. Pilate talked to him and he couldn't find anything that Jesus had done wrong. He said, I don't, I don't get it. He's done nothing wrong. He doesn't need to die. Pilate tried to make the people feel sorry for him. He hit him with that whip that had the glass and the metal pieces. And they beat him up and they made him suffer. You know, the Bible even tells us that they spit on him and they hit him with a stick. They blindfolded him and said, okay, if you're God, you guess who hit you. Jesus didn't say a word. Finally, Pilate said, all right, all right, I don't want to get in trouble. You guys take him and you crucify him. And that's what's going to happen. They're going to take Jesus and they're going to nail him to the cross because of what we did. Because of our sins, Jesus was willing to die. He could have gotten off that cross, remember, but he's not going to try to get off because he loves us with an everlasting love and he wants us in heaven with him. So Jesus stayed on the cross. He had lived a perfect life and then Remember, he's going to come back alive with his mighty power because he is our true God. And because of that, we'll get to go to heaven to live with him forever. That's a lot of comfort. When people die, his children go to heaven. Jesus' children go to heaven with him because of the suffering and death of our Savior and his glorious resurrection. That's a great thing, isn't it? Jesus, thank you for wanting to save us from our sins out of great love. Please be with us.
In your name we pray. Amen.